Hello friends, welcome to Learn Paint. Today we are going to draw trees. Before going to draw trees, let us first increase the size of page. Just you have to go at this point. Then there is horizontal arrow is appear. Arrow head, head is at both side, and then click here and drag. Okay, now the page size is increased. Let us start the drawing. Here, first go to the line tool. Just draw line. Again, draw the line. Click here again. Draw the new line. For drawing new line, you have to click on the page like this. Again, click on the line. Here, I want to draw some branches. Click here. Let us draw the branch. You can also click on line again. Just rub here some part. Again, click on the line and draw some branches. Okay. Close this below portion with the help of line. Now, here we want to draw this shape. This shape is known as cloud callout. You have to simply draw this shape. We want to here remove some unwanted part. Then go to rubber and click on this rubber tool. You can increase the size of rubber with the help of control and plus key. Hold the control key and click the plus key. Like this, with the help of minus key, you can decrease the size of rubber. Now here, just we want to rub some portion. Okay. Now here, go to select. Click on this select. Select the first option, rectangular selection. Okay. For transparency, again. Click on the down arrow of select and then select the transparent selection. Click on this transparent selection. Okay. Now let us draw some callout again. Click on rubber. Rub some part. Just hold the left click of mouse. Again, click on select, select this portion and put put down here. Again, click on callout, draw big callout, click on rubber. Again, click on select. here okay here zoom it and click on rubber and remove some portion it is too simple I just undo it click on undo Okay, it is fine. For undo, you can press Ctrl plus Z key. It is a shortcut for undo. Again, click on Zoom tool, magnifier, and right click the mouse for the proper size. Okay, again click on callout. Let us draw the callout. Click on rubber. 
click on select let us put it here again let us rub some part of this ok you can also apply your logic of drawing just put it here again we want some callout uh, make callout of different different size then it will look the real part or real it will help to give the real look now again Rub some, part, rub some part here some part of part here ok you can also increase it click on magnifier click on the page and click on the rubber and make it properly Let us decrease the size of rubber with the help of Ctrl and minus Q. Here the some portion is rubbed, therefore right click on undo. Ctrl Z, that is undo. Now here rub some portion. It is not proper shape then also it will give the look of tree like this you can cut the or erase the or rub the unwanted part ok fine now let us again click on magnifier click the left click button of mouse for proper size then click on color bucket choose the appropriate green color and just you have to fill it with color just click inside the shape like this ok let us fill color for this also for that purpose we use uh, dark red color ok like this you can make a tree here you can also increase the callout shapes and make a big tree ok one more uh, let us see the one more simple tree for that purpose here we use curl line click on black color draw the line put your cursor on the line and just drag the mouse and double click here after that again let us draw the callout line undo just draw the line put your cursor on this line and just double click then this line convert to curve now again we want here big callout Uh, with the help of rubber click on the rubber and remove the unwanted part make the rubber big for making the rubber big you have to press ctrl plus make it properly ok click on select put this shape here and also you have to close the bottom line ok now click on this green color you can also select some a different shade then click the, on this edit color then this wizard is appear and here you can also select some different color for this tree ok 
click on fill with color just click here here also you can give the brownish shade okay remove the unwanted part here one spot is appear okay now let us make some different or red first again click on curve click on black color just put cursor on the line anywhere you want double click again click on this curve line here make a shape put cursor on the curve line double click don't forget to close the bottom otherwise your color is spread on the page now here we have to use polygon click on polygon and let us make some shape like this we want to create a tree just click click okay just you have to click anywhere to form a shape you can also apply your own logic for drawing the tree okay and then close here okay here we have some gap then click on magnify click here and fill this gap with pencil click on pencil and fill this gap okay otherwise your color is spread on whole page again click on magnifier click the right button of mouse now it is in proper size again click on the fill with color now again make some different shade uh, more dark okay click here and again make some shade uh, different shade for this dark red make more dark okay click here now we can also make some changes here we use airbrush let us click on this yellow color i want to change this color slightly therefore click on edit color and take some dark shade okay and just click here these are some flowers before fruits you can also show the fruits with the help of red color the fruit is big than the flower you can also show like this okay here also we can create fruit with the help of circle click on fill with color click on red color then select this shape and just copy paste it with the help of control c and control v move, move it here with the help of mouse control v again okay doesn't matter it may be with some different size when this move cursor is appear then drag it again control v or you can also paste from here
or you can also use here also airbrush okay like this you can make a different different tree with the help of some basic shapes okay again make the page size little big you can also take a new page or new file from here file new okay now again we want to create some tree like this then let us select it just this is free selection you can here make a border for selection for proper Selecting the object, okay. Just I copy it and paste it. Now put it here. I don't want these fruits, therefore, I click on fill with color, click on green color, or use the same green color and just fill it with color. Now, here. We can also make something like this black again rub it don't rub it properly rub it roughly again make some shape again rub it roughly If you uh, here want to select it properly, then use the preform selection. Again, go to callout, draw. Again, rub it with the help of rubber. Click on rubber. Select with the help of rectangle selection because here there is space for selection now again make a callout to match this portion click on rubber now rub this portion again click on select and here put it here like this also you can make a tree okay thank you for watching the tutorial we will continue next tutorial